Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. I am Rosie, for those of you guys who don't know me. We are going to be doing a sunset painting today, which I make a lot of sunset paintings. So I thought I would take you through my process of how I make them so that if you guys want to follow along, you can if you're just here just to watch and have fun and listen in while I do this, welcome, that's totally fine too. Let's jump right into it. So first, obviously, uh, you gotta have some sort of paper. So this is actually my 2023 sketchbook. I just did a sketchbook tour on the sketchbook. So make sure to go back and check out that video if you want to. Um, but there are some empty pages left, so I decided to fill a spread here towards the end of the sketchbook. So the type of paper you're gonna want is something that can hold up well to paint. I'm gonna be using gouache paint, as you can see over here. This is the Hemi, I think I'm saying that word right? I don't know, uh, but Hemi gouache paint. So once you have your paper picked out or whatever you're gonna be painting on, um, you're gonna grab your paints and then whatever brush you wanna use. Um, and then I also have a Artistro um, water-based ink pen right here. This is what we're going to be drawing, our silhouette of trees. We're gonna be drawing um, just a little silhouette on top of the sunset. So this is what I'm gonna to use to draw those trees on with, is this pen right here. Um, it's amazing. It's my new favorite pen to draw silhouettes with on top of paint, because that's what it's made for. So step number two is going to be picking what color palette you want for the sunset. So I'm gonna be doing the traditional like orange, yellow, reddish uh, sunset, but you guys could do anything you want. I've done pinks, I've done blues, I've done purples, I've done like brownish sunsets as well. So you guys can honestly pick whichever one you want, but you are going to need three colors, okay? So you're gonna need a light color, a medium color and then a dark color that fits in with your color palette. So these are my colors that I'm going to be using today. If I make a sunset on a larger scale, like on a big canvas, I will use four to five colors. But if I do it in a sketchbook, I will only use three colors. So I always do light, medium and then dark. And obviously they need to follow along with my color scheme. So this light color is going to be the color that I use for the base. And then obviously this one's gonna be in the middle and then the darker orangish red is going to be on top. So let's get started and let's get painting here. So I don't know what kind of scale you guys are gonna be painting on, but I am painting on a little bit of a larger scale than what I normally paint on uh, for sunset paintings. Usually I would only do about half this, just like one page instead of the whole spread. Um, so I'm going to grab a fairly larger brush just to speed up the process because um, I'm not too picky about how I lay my paint down. So I'm just going to dip it in the water. I'm going to grab my first color here, which is going to be this yellow, which it is really dry, so I am applying a ton of water to this. Perfect. And as you can see, I've not prepped this page at all just because I'm not super picky. All right, and then your first color is done. That's literally all I do uh, for the yellow. I usually use less yellow or like the first color I use less of than my other two colors. And now, I'm going to go in with my second color, that medium orange. So you're gonna go in with your medium color next. Oh my goodness, there's so many fluffs. I don't know why, but there is. Um, and then we are just gonna kind of, I like to start where I think I'm gonna end my orange color. Cause I like to blend um, the yellow and orange in, which you will see. All right, so the medium color is done. As you can see, I kind of blended it in down here. And yes, the paper is warping just a little bit because this is not watercolor paper, but this paper does hold up fairly well to gouache and a lot of water. So 
that is definitely a bonus something you want to keep in mind depending on what paint you're using whether it's watercolor acrylic uh gouache like i'm using oils whatever you're doing and i am cleaning my brushes in between every single color then we're going to go in with our dark color at the very top there you go that's it it's all done your base color is finished now we have to wait for this to dry and then we're gonna draw on our silhouette all right it's all dry now um up here is just a little bit wet as you can see right here but we're not going to be drawing in that area so it's fine we're just going to be drawing down here mostly on the yellow part so what you're going to do is you're first going to plan out whatever silhouette you want to put on top of this so we are going to be doing today just pine trees and then we're also going to be adding a little bit of birds somewhere probably over here or over here um, so you're going to grab your pen and i always just freehand my trees on because I've done it so many times it's like muscle memory now um, but I'm gonna take you through the process of how I do them and then if you want to you definitely can just practice on a page first like a separate piece of paper if you want to before you put it on your finished product so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make the trees tall here on the sides and then they're gonna be getting smaller towards the middle so it's not gonna be one continuous line it's gonna kind of dip down into the middle here. It just makes it stand out a little bit more. So we're gonna just draw long lines here on each side. And I kind of like to do um, two sides at once. So this pen sometimes gives me issues here. There you go. So you have all your little lines here that you're gonna draw your leaves on top of or your pine needles, I guess, is what they would be considered as, technically. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I make them look like pine trees here on this tree right here. So follow along, definitely, uh, if you need to practice, practice on a separate piece of paper. So all I do is I just take my pen, I'm just gonna start, and I kind of, at the top, make kind of like a little peak, like that, kind of like a little arrow pointing up. So at the very beginning, your tree is gonna look like an arrow just like that. And then you're just gonna continue to make little arrows back and forth, back and forth, kind of filling in spaces. As you go down, this pen is giving me issues. So you're just gonna make your way down, making little arrows repeatedly. Now, once you get towards the bottom, you're going to want to make the bottom thicker. And up here, I honestly should have started doing that earlier. But as we all know, pine trees, they kind of are skinny at the top and then they get thicker as they go down. So you're gonna to wanna to kind of create that realis realism. I'm gonna go switch pens real quick. I have a Sharpie now, so hopefully this works. Alright, so we're all done with the trees. So as you can see right now, they look like they're sitting on absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go through with a black marker and draw a thick black line down here along the base of the trees. Make it look like they're actually sitting on the ground. You could also paint this in with black paint as well, but I usually just tend to go with a marker. So I'm going to use the same marker that I used to make the trees, which is just normal black Sharpie. I'm just going to make a thick black line down here along the bottom to make it look like they're sitting on the ground. There you go, so we have that line down now and obviously it's not perfect. There's definitely some uh, imperfections down here, but that's okay. It's not supposed to look perfect, it's just supposed to look fun and creative and happy and so that's what we're going for. Then the last step is, is to add in birds. Now, if you don't wanna add in birds, you definitely don't have to. Sometimes I also add in quotes on top of this, but we're not gonna be doing that today because we're just doing the shortened version here. All right, so we're gonna add birds. So I'm gonna put my birds right here, which is usually where I put them. You can put them anywhere, all right? So they're just gonna be little black lines that dip down just a little bit in the middle. 
So let me demonstrate. Let me show you the first one that I'm going to do here. So there's a little line, kind of curves down, comes to a point, and then curves back up very slightly. If you want them to look different, you can make these curves taller, you can make this more straight, you can really customize it however you want it. For example, this bird, the line curves down and curves back up a little bit more pointier than this bird right here. So I usually only draw about three birds and that's it. We are all done. This is the final piece. This, this is what it looks like at the very end. Just trees, birds, basic sunset. Very, very simple. So thank you so much for following along, guys. I will make a list of all the products that I used down below in the description if you want to look them up and order or buy them. Also, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below of what you thought, if you have any ideas for future videos. And thank you so much. Bye.